coming up. A small slice of amazing from our Lightroom 5 video book, which includes 12 hours of video, 150 presets, and a whole lot of me and Tony. Get on that. Get on that thing. Get on that thing. <laughs> Get on. Okay. The Extract Cached Image plugin. And the guy who makes this makes a bunch of these plugins. So let's pop over to his website right now. This is Jeffrey Friedel. And you can just search for Extract Cached Image Previews and you'll find his website. And then you can just download it. And I'll go ahead and walk through the installation process one more time. I'm just going to extract this. It's in a zip file now. And with it extract, I'm going to copy that folder to the clipboard. And in the plugin manager, I'm going to click add, select the folder with the .lr plugin extension, and voila, it's installed. What the Lightroom extraction preview tool does is if you've lost your file, like if the original file is deleted or recovered, you can extract the preview information from it. And that can be really useful because especially if you have a one-to-one -one preview, you can essentially recover your entire file. Sometimes you get into the state where you can see a picture in Lightroom, but you can't actually browse it. So let's pick a picture here, this night photo, and you can see it original plus smart preview. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Explorer, show an Explorer, All right, you can see the file names match. That's my actual file. I'm going to delete that file. So now it's gone. So if I go into the develop module, all right, Lightroom gets a little frustrated. And you can see here it's saying it's working with the smart preview. The original file is offline, but you can still edit the photo. Now you're not supposed to be able to do anything with the smart preview. You can edit it, but you're not supposed to actually save it or publish it. It's for when you have an external hard drive that's not currently attached. But with this plugin, if we've deleted the original file, we can use this for recovery. I'll show you another way to recover files later too. So from the file menu, we're going to go to plugin extras, and then under JF preview extraction, we'll select extract preview images. Now it's going to prompt me where to extract them to. So I'll click the browse button. Let's make a new folder for it. And notice this last checkbox. It's really useful. If you select it, the plugin will ignore any files that are selected but are intact. Therefore, you could just select all the files in your library and it will go through and just save everything that's missing. So I only have the one file extracted, so it won't take too long. But I'll click Begin Extraction. And you can see one image is extracted. So visit it in Explorer, open up the recovered photos folder, and there's my picture. Not bad, right? Just a useful way to recover your photos when you still have some preview data. One to one previews are the best. One more tool that I'd like to show you is PhotoRec, and it has nothing to do with Lightroom, but it's just such a useful tool that I have to mention it, especially because it's free. If you've ever accidentally formatted a memory card, deleted pictures, or had a hard drive crash, or pictures get corrupted, this can save the day. First, if you, let, let's say you're doing street photography, and you take a perfectly legal picture of a public building, and then there's some overactive security guard who wants you to delete your pictures, just delete them. But knowing that you did it legally, you can recover that picture later and be totally in the right. Or if you accidentally delete them, you'll be able to save them. What you want to do is to take the memory card out of the camera immediately. Don't take any other pictures because if you take any pictures, you might overwrite the pictures that you've removed or formatted. Once you overwrite them, you won't be able to recover them. But if you delete them, well, it's kind of like tearing out the table of contents from a book. The rest of the book is still there. It just take you a little longer to find it, right? Well, that's what PhotoRec does. It bypasses the table of contents and just looks at every page on your memory card or disk and finds anything that looks like a video or picture. And then it does its best to recover it and saves it for you. And it can be a lifesaver. So I have it installed on this computer and I've connected a flashcard with a bunch of pictures on it. So let's jump over to that flashcard. Here we go. 
And I'll jump under DCIM here and we can see, oh, look at all these pictures here. Oh, I'm going to do something scary. I'm just going to select it all and push delete. No recycle bin, just permanently deleting that whole memory card. That's my F drive. So now what I'm going to do is to jump over to Photo Rec, which I've saved in my downloads folder here. Uh, it's packaged with a tool called Test Disk, so they work together. Yeah, let's just delete everything. So I'm scrolling down here, and I'm going to run Photo Rec Win. There's also a version for Mac. And as it pops up, it's going to ask me which of the memory cards that I want to read. And for me, you have to kind of look at the description here, because this is showing you the gigabytes, and it's labeling it in an odd way. But this first one is the computer's main hard drive. And the second one is the SD card that I connected. And the third one is an external drive that happens to be connected. So I'll select that second one and press Enter. And now it's asking you about the partitions that are on it. Now, if the disk is completely corrupted, you should select Whole Disk. If you've just deleted some files and you didn't repartition it or format it or you don't know what any of that means, you can probably just select the partition. Selecting Whole Disk is always the sure way to go but it will take much, much longer. If you select just the partition, it can be faster, but you might not find everything on it, especially in scenarios where you've corrupted it. So I'll just select the partition. And now it's asking you what the file system was. And generally, you're just going to pick other. And here it's asking you whether you want to scan the whole disk or just the free space on the disk. So if you took a bunch of pictures and deleted one, well, you know that your deleted picture is going to be in the free space on the disk, and you can make this move along much faster by selecting free. But if you just want to be sure that you get everything, it, just pick whole. Whole will always find more files, but it will just take longer. It might find a bunch of files you don't care about. I'll select whole. And now it's asking me where I want to save the files to. So I, I want to save it on the D drive. So I'm going to scroll through the double dots there, because that means back up one directory. I don't know why that is, but... Let's keep backing up until we can get to the D drive. And what do you know? I have a recovered files folder here. I'll select that. And when the destination is correct, you see here, press C. So I'll press C. And now it starts the recovery process. PhotoRec knows what the header and footer of pictures looks like. So it just goes through every bit of data and looks for that metadata. You, you would know what it is. Things like your camera information, the start of a JPEG picture or a TIFF picture can recognize many types of raw files too. So as I look at this, I can see it's already recovered nine TIFF files and one JPEG. And look, it's counting. It's finding more and more files. So let's jump over to the D drive here. Let's see if we can look at both these windows at once. We'll open up the recovered files folder. And here we can see it's made a directory for me. It just keeps making directories for some reason. But I have a whole bunch of files in here. Look, there's a JPEG file that it managed to recover from the disk. These are NEF files, so this computer doesn't know how to render thumbnails for those, but those are Nikon RAW files. Other JPEGs, lots of TIFF files. So it looks like the recovery is going great. You can see it's constantly adding files, and now all I need to do is to import those back into Lightroom, and I'll be able to use the files as if nothing had happened. Now, some of those files might still be corrupted, but most of them will probably be fine, and nothing else that's better than nothing, right? It's always your best bet. PhotoRec is also used for, for other types of files. So if you have Word files or things that aren't pictures, video files, it can find those too. Anytime you have a hard drive die on you and you didn't have a backup, I connect that hard drive and I try PhotoRec and it saved the day many, many times. This is part of my Lightroom 5 video book, which has more than 12 hours of videos just like this and comes with an entire book. So if you prefer learning by video, you can watch the 12 hours of video. And if you prefer reading a book, you can use the book. I like to watch the video and then use the book for reference. Things It's a little quicker to just kind of flip to a page and scan uh, a list when you need to remember how to do something. So they work really well together. It's a whole new type of concept. The electronic version of that is less than $10, $9.99. If you want a paperback version of, of the book, it's $19.99 or less sometimes on Amazon. Check it out at sdp.io slash lr or just search for Tony Northrup's Lightroom book at Amazon. If you have any questions, write a comment down below. And to see more free videos, subscribe. Don't forget to like and share. Thanks.